The Bamboo Lab H2C is finally out, and with it, we can finally take a good look at the Vortex system. When it was first announced, one interesting detail popped out to me and many others. Why does the Vortex system have its own name? Only the H2C has this nozzle swapping system, and while the H2S and H2D were announced to be upgradable, that upgrade would just turn those printers into an H2C. So why did Bamboo Lab give their nozzle swapping system its own unique and separate name? If you'd like an in-depth video on the Vortex system, you can check out my other videos about how it works, how long swaps take, and other details about it. But back to the Vortex system naming. One reason that people thought of why it has its own name is that it's possible a different printer series from Bamboo Lab would be able to use the Vortex system as well. When the P2S launched, it basically had all the features of the X1C combined with all the new quality of life updates and general improvements from the H2 and A1 series. Many people, including myself, believed that the X1 series was done. Why would they make an X2 printer if the P2S had everything the X1C had that made it a higher tier printer than the P1S? For it to make sense for Bamboo Lab to make an X2 printer, it would need to have some significant improvements or features that the P2S doesn't have, but also be at a size smaller than the H2D. Basically, there's no need for an X2 single extruder printer because the P2S covers that normal size and the H2S already covers the larger size. So basically, for an X2 printer to make sense, it would need to have a big new feature that the P2S does not have. One possible feature that many speculated an X2 printer could have would be dual extruders, just like the H2D. However, many of us thought that this is unlikely because the H2D loses 50 millimeters on the build plate when dual nozzle printing. An X1 size printer is 256 millimeters cubed and losing 50 millimeters is pretty significant at this size. So especially for just one extra extruder. So a dual extruder X2 is probably off of the table. This is where I think the Vortec comes in. From the information we've been given by Bamboo Lab, there's an upgrade path from the H2S or H2D to turn them into an H2C. They've told us this upgrade path is quite extensive and from my inspections of the H2C, I definitely see why. Besides actually installing the Vortex system into the printer, the bed needs to be completely replaced with a slightly smaller bed. The print head also needs to be replaced. The right extruder of the H2C is completely new and needs to be changed to fit in these induction nozzles. It also needs a locking mechanism for holding and releasing these new nozzles, as well as a wireless reader to get data from those nozzles. My guess is the whole print head needs to be replaced because it's probably easier to just replace the whole thing instead of rebuilding it with a bunch of small parts. So upgrading an H2D to an H2C looks like it'll be the same process as upgrading an H2S to an H2C. Both will likely need the new print head, and so an H2S will become a dual extruder printer instead of just tacking on the Vortex system. The reason I bring up the upgrade path is because in my mind, and apparently several others, it felt like the Vortex system and the dual extruder print head went hand in hand. I had thought that for an X1 printer to be able to use the Vortex, it would lose print space twice, once to fit in the Vortex and another because of the dual extruder. However, I now think I was completely wrong before and that a single extruder X1 size printer can definitely fit a Vortex system. The Vortex system replaces the nozzle of the right extruder, which is stationary and does not move up and down like the left extruder does. This means that there's no reason the Vortex needs a dual extruder and could definitely work on a single extruder print head. From the original H2C launch video, I had just assumed that there was more to it on this right extruder and that it wasn't just stationary to be able to pick up and drop off these nozzles. But after using it for almost a month, it's very clear the right extruder doesn't need to move at all to work with the Vortex system. So this potential X2C would stay the same size as the X1C, P1S, and P2S, but would lose about 20 millimeters of print space to fit in that Vortex system. It would be a single extruder printer, and I believe the Vortex system would fit with four nozzles instead of six nozzles. This works out perfectly for a couple of reasons. A 20 millimeter loss in print space is not too bad for what you get out of the Vortex. Also, having four nozzles fits one AMS unit exactly. 
The vortex system itself has its nozzle split between two racks. When one rack goes up, the other slides down, so it's split into three and three. Bamboo Lab could definitely create a four nozzle vortex system with two and two that fits into an X1 enclosure, and bam, we have an X2C. This proposed X2C would be a single extruder printer. So it's different from the H2D and H2C with their dual nozzles at a higher tier printer. It would also be sized the same as the P2 and X1 and fit right into that lineup and be the new generation of the X series because it would have a different significant feature that the P2S doesn't have, which would fill the void for purgeless printing that's not in an enormous printer. This would also explain why the Vortec has its own name, since it would be present in multiple different printers from Bamboo Lab. And also, this four nozzle system aligns with Bamboo Lab's AMS technology. So that's what I think is next for Bamboo Lab. So I'm calling it here now that the X series isn't dead and the X2C will be a single extruder printer that has a four nozzle Vortex system. In my head, it's too perfect and works out too well. It keeps the original form factor of Bamboo Lab's original first printer, the X1, utilizes the AMS greatly, reuses the same tech from the H2C Vortex, and would be much more affordable and thus competitive than the H2C due to its smaller size and two less nozzles to swap. To be clear, this is all my personal speculation and predictions for where Bamboo Lab goes with the Vortex system next. Bamboo Lab is pretty tight-lipped about their future projects and hasn't shared anything with me outside the actual H2C printer and the media press kit that comes with it. I do strongly believe that the Vortex system will be used again in another Bamboo Lab printer because it provides so much value for so little space that it'd be quite a shame to not see it used again. So that's what I have for you today. I believe the X series isn't dead and an X2C is coming our way that has a single extruder and a four nozzle vortex system. What do you think? Is this on Bamboo Lab's horizon? And would this proposed printer fit your needs? On a total side note, I was invited to the Maker World event in Shenzhen, China earlier this year in September. And somebody at the event asked a Bamboo Lab employee if Bamboo would ever do resin printers. And the response was basically, it's not ruled out. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you'd like to see more videos on 3D printing, make sure to follow. Thanks for watching.